We are living in the 21st century, but we are still relying on old ways of doing things. What if we could create a GPS? Of course, GPS helps us go from point A to point B, just like a Google map, right? But what if we could create a Google map or a GPS system for your career? Well, this video is your GPS. Today, we are going to tell you, rather guide you towards which field to take in chemistry, how exactly your career will progress from starting from bachelor's or maybe 10 plus 2, then master's, PhD and beyond. What type of jobs are there? How exactly you can strategize? How can you get these jobs faster? Well, one important thing before we get started is don't forget to you know subscribe to Rasainika because all things chemistry, all things pharma, all things which is growing in the chemistry field will be covered right here. So to start with, you are, I'm assuming, doing a bachelor's in chemistry. It could be uh, B.Tech chemical engineering or B.Sc chemistry, right? Now, what's the difference between chemical engineering and chemistry? Very simple. The chemical engineering side is more towards the application side of chemistry and you get jobs faster there. But of course, your mathematics should be good. And when it comes to B.Sc chemistry, it is more towards the research oriented. Of course, jobs are there in this also, but it doesn't require that much of applicatory maths. Okay, so that's the core difference. But now coming to B.Sc chemistry, after you do this, what do you what can you get? Well, a lot of jobs. Then mostly people say, okay, do B.Sc, then do M.Sc or do B.Tech, then do M.Tech. But after that, you'll be like, where are the jobs? Well, this is where you need to know about the specializations. I'm sure you already know about organic, inorganic, physical, medicinal, pharmaceutical, all types of chemistry and pharmaceutics, pharmacognosy, all of that you must have heard of. But now let's look at how can you strategize to get jobs faster in chemistry. So let us divide the chemistry industry into four parts. Okay. The first part would be chemistry jobs where you'll be working in a chemistry company and that can be further divided into two parts. The one will be chemical process and operations. Okay. And the second could be chemical R&D or research and development. So this can be the two options. Now let's look at the other options. So under this now, if you uh, do BSc and you can get into, then you do MSc, then you can go into R&D for chemistry, right? So R&D is where you're doing new things, okay? And basically you get jobs in CSIR labs, ICMR labs and various other biotech and pharma labs and of course uh, biotech and pharma companies also, right? And chemistry companies like paint companies, hydrochemical companies, uh, hydrocarbon companies and then you have um, the public sector companies. So that's where you get into the R&D, right? Now next aspect would be of course the process. So the process part is where the chemicals are you know being generated or created and you are working in a factory so basically you are a factory worker well after bsc you get mostly the factory worker jobs not the rnd jobs if you want rnd jobs you need a masters or a phd so that's about the job side of it now the second type of thing which uh, comes so like i told you four parts of chemistry industry the first is the jobs in the operations and the jobs in the rnd the second part of this chemistry industry will be chemistry company management and administrative jobs so now this is where things get a little more interesting rewarding more money can be made you are not a part of the process rather you are running the process or rather you are managing a team which is running the process so you become a manager or you become an administrative assistant or you further grow in your career so that's about the administrative side a lot of money can be made but of course you have to start first as a a regular guy into the, this right now apart from that you also have qa qc regulatory and all all those type of jobs but hey that's not core chemistry job that's more of like part of the process you can if you have interest you can always get into those as well now let's move to the third type so the third type is government jobs in chemistry i will make a separate video for that of course but government jobs in chemistry will be where uh, you working as a uh, safety officer you working in various labs like csir lab you are, uh, you know, synthesizing new chemicals or you are collaborating with various international agencies for the government. And you are, of course, looking at the environmental safety and how the chemicals are not leaking into the environment, into the river bodies. You are analyzing all of that. So that's about your um, 
third type of job which you get in chemistry would be in the government segment and then there'll be more of regulatory or food or um, uh, safety because government is more concerned about these three now coming to the fourth one which is a enabler okay so enabler is somebody who enables the other three right and that is a entrepreneur somebody who starts their own chemistry company which could be you right so what is the process of starting a chemistry company there are three ways to start okay the first way is you do your own research which is long tedious process you can come up with a patent and now that chemical nobody can create and then you create a company out of it and then you start selling your chemical so that's the first and slowest process of starting a chemistry company the second process okay would be you go and license a product from CSIR lab. So CSIR lab makes a lot of chemistry, green chemistry, um, you know, uh, products like the green firecrackers. You must have heard of it, right? So now you license it. Okay. So you pay CSIR labs to buy that and you can create a factory which manufactures it and then you sell it to the general public. So that's the second way of starting a chemistry company the third and interesting way will be somebody who has a patent and you may make them a partner in your company and now you both become a partner and create that and run the company so this will be the enablers so like i said the top will be chemistry company then there are four parts the first will be of course the uh, r&d and the operations part then the second would be the management part or the managerial side the third will be the government and now the fourth would be the enablers of starting your own company now let me know in the comment section which one would you like to choose now your degree will open doors to any one of these and all of these so let's look at what kind of jobs you can get after a bachelor's okay so after a btech in chemical industry you can get jobs like process engineer plant engineer production production and operations in chemistry and pharma industries qa qc patent analyst regulatory affairs and government jobs like uh, psus like iocl ongc hpcl drdo isro uh, csir labs this is these are the places you can get these jobs now when it when it comes to bsc chemistry if you're immediately trying to get a job after bsc chemistry then you will you'll get jobs like lab technician research assistant and then you can get some teaching jobs as well but i will not recommend you to go for a job after bsc after btech of course you get a job but after bsc you must do a msc for a btech also i will insist you do a mtech or phd if in case you have interest towards getting into the r and d side of it okay now after msc chemistry what kind of jobs you can get you can become a research scientist in biotech pharma and chemical companies analytical chemist medicinal chemist industrial r&d roles government research institute roles like barc csir ncl iit iisc you can of course get into teaching also now one interesting word which i told you about is analytical chemistry which is required almost everywhere right like gc hplc lcms all these is required and if you are looking for training for all of this rasayanika provides online training for all these techniques and data analysis uh, requirements also is fulfilled and projects are there check the link in the description that will help you so that's about msc in chemistry now if you do mtech in chemistry then you get a slightly higher senior roles like senior r&d scientist in pharma biotech and the chemical com companies and nanotech and energy companies a uh, process development engineer you can become you can become a data scientist in chemistry computational chemistry and if you learn aiml which of course rasayanika can train you on so we have the computational biology aiml training and chem computational chemistry training platform in rasayanika you can check the details in the description so you can become a senior r&d scientist uh, by uh, learning that then of course you can get into government labs also like drdo is hiring uh, for computational chemistry uh, candidates came in from adx candidates isro is hiring bark is hiring for computational chemistry candidates indian oil corporation limited is hiring ongc oil and natural gas corporation of india is hiring so you can get into those as well now one important tip which i wanted to give you is do something so that you can get a job in india or abroad or both right so you know you should do something which is future proof right so here are certain things which you can get in you can get into regulatory affairs which is global regulatory affairs and patent law for that also the signica provides training then you also have uh, green chemistry and sustainability material science nanotechnology pharmaceutical r&d and drug discovery then you have forensic and environmental chemistry regulatory affairs chemical sales and marketing and consultancy all of this you can learn right so now 
the tip of the day for you will be wherever you are in the career path you have to learn analytical chemistry if you want to get into any of these apart from sales so nmr hplc gc ms spectroscopy you can learn gain certifications through rasayanika on regulatory affairs computational chemistry artificial intelligence machine learning data science publish research paper with rasayanika and do projects on rasayanika's platform stand out and do higher studies and that's how you get jobs in the chemistry industry so let me know in the comment section how if you like this video and what more you would like to know about the gps of the uh, chemistry industry which is this video so maybe i missed out on some points which you would like to add or maybe you want me to make a detailed video in any small part of this video as a more detailed video so i will definitely do that so all you have to do is comment below and uh, let me know and of course subscribe to sainika because all things chemistry will happen here thank you so much for watching this video see you soon on the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye